look at this consistent content. I told you guys, full time, YouTube, consistent content once a week at least. Today's episode, we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be working on something not car related. Well, I mean, it's kind of car related. Like we, we work on our cars on it. Yeah, on it. And um, it's definitely time for an upgrade. Like we work on our classic cars and upgrade them all the time, we are working on our driveway today. We are doing an absolutely humongous concrete pour of the driveway. Uh, because for those of you that have ever worked on a gravel driveway before, you know that it's absolutely miserable whether you're pushing a car around on a gravel driveway, working under a car on a gravel driveway, jacking up a car on a gravel driveway, setting up jack stands on a gravel driveway, pushing an engine hoist around on a gravel driveway. It's just, it's, it's not a good time. So we finally pulled the trigger after talking about it for probably 10 plus years now. And uh, we're getting our driveway poured in concrete. All right, finally getting the driveway done. <laughs> Just running a little drain here. But those guys are digging. And uh, I'm digging by hand. <laughs> work smarter, not harder, right? Look at those machines. Going to work. It's coming to the end of the day. Still, still working away. Hollywood? It's Hollywood calling. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, shit. Look at this. I said one day I'm going to buy my own Bobcat and do this. Yeah, right. Yeah, Another 20 shit. years. All right, day two. Got a mountain of stone. Fifth one's getting poured up there. Dad's been tamping. Just setting some stakes. Getting ready. Officially locked out of our garage with that uh, six inch drop or seven inch drop right there. All the three quarter clear is all in place tomorrow we frame that's a big go-kart track i mean driveway sorry driveway driveway go-kart track <clears throat> all right so we got the outer perimeter in front of the garage all set and i'm just working on making my way all the way up and then i'll come back down and then i'll come back here so we got this line all picked out from that corner. Gives it a nice contour to that corner. And then that'll go straight up to the road. So that's uh, 61 by 30. So that'll be in front of the garage door, which will be extremely nice. <laughs> Been uh, working off the uh, gravel here for, oh my God, my whole life up here. And uh, it's time for some concrete. Perfect night for it though. 13 degrees Celsius. I have no idea what that is in American, but uh, it's nice and warm and a t-shirt sweating here. So it's time to get back to work. Rebar is here to come and drop it off. So that'll be the next project of laying rebar and getting it all tied. That's gonna be a, a fun little mission. How many pieces? 750? I uh, can't wait to move those. Here comes mom in the tractor. Let's just run out of gas. This guy definitely wins all the arcade games. Precision. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, I can't wait <laughs> to tie all of those. <laughs> oh, but wait. There's one, two, three, four. Oh my God. Can't you see how excited my face is right now to tie all that rebar? It's gonna be great. 
All right, day, lost count, day something is done. We're gonna show you what we've done. All the outer perimeters done on the left side. We're coming down the hill on the right side and just uh, getting it all set in terms of height. And we'll probably get up to the corner here and then call it a night and then start on this portion tomorrow where it comes back up the hill right up to there and then we'll swing down and tie it into that point right there it's coming along for uh, two guys that don't know <laughs> anything about concrete should be pretty good all right so absolutely miserable weather <laughs> snowing raining but uh we got this side done we got the spikes that dad's driving home right now and then we'll be able to set our height for the bottom board right there so don't look at that it's all all up and down up and down we'll uh we'll set that straight and then we'll officially be done and hopefully pour before more snow falls <laughs> all right so the framing is officially done took a lot of work but i think it flows pretty nice all in all Everything's braced, coming around here, looks good. And as you can see here, we got uh, one side. There's gonna be a barrier right here, and this is where the go-karts are gonna come around, do the 90 degree, shoot all the way up, hook around the top, swing up there another round, and come back down for the complete lap. What do you guys think? I think it'll be pretty cool. <laughs> a boy can only dream, right? Might happen one day, never say never. All right, it's uh, 10 o'clock. Super mom brought me out a uh, hot chocolate, but uh, we're gonna call it a night. Let's uh, spin you around and show you what we've got done so far. All right, so we got majority of that all tied. And then we got all this over here set up. And uh, <laughs> we still got all of that to do tomorrow it's uh it's thursday tomorrow's friday we pour saturday it's gonna be a long long day tomorrow <laughs> All right, well, it's uh, 10 o'clock, Friday night. Let's uh, show you what we've got done so far. Yeah, we kind of, we came up uh, just a little short in terms of time. I don't know if we're going to be able to finish Saturday morning. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> we got the whole thing done. Alex and uh, his awesome crew came out and helped tie some rebar and Stayed a little late, but uh, got it all done. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna raise it up, put the blocks underneath, and uh, nine o'clock or 8.30, they're gonna be pouring. So that is gonna be awesome. Can't wait. Time for some rest, cause my back and knees are killing me.
That's a lot of rebar. The next day. All right, so it's 6.30 and the nerves are starting to set in that this is actually happening. Yeah, got a lot of work to do, but it's gonna be exciting. Hopefully we get everything done and everything goes as planned and nice and smooth. <laughs> Holy shit. That's the pump truck for today, boys. Holy. All right, so concrete finisher guys are here. We're just gonna set this truck in place. He's gonna set his riggers. Then the concrete's gotta show up. Once the concrete shows up, we're gonna start pumping. We're still laying blocks. We're rushing for time, it's getting late. Be ready, that's good buddy, that's good. All good. Let's start picking up some rebar. What a beast. We're just, uh, we're still going. We're still, we're still going. Uh, we're making it. Just starting. Got lots to do. Just changing trucks. And we'll continue to pour. God damn leaves. Hey, it's just like when you're painting a car, the bugs, the leaves are the issue here. Got the finishers doing an awesome job. This is all gonna get broom finished. And now they're starting at the top and uh, coming on down. It's coming along guys, looking good. And then all that surface is gonna get helicopter finished, so it'll be smooth.
helicopter going all the way back. Broom finish has been applied basically to here. That's all applied to. They're coming down the driveway. Just getting the uh, garage pad all uh, helicoptered. You'd think it's uh, 10 o'clock at night, but it's really just 5.38. Concrete's all done. Looks awesome. Broom finished over here and all the way up. So now that the concrete has had some time to cure, we left it for a day and about a half, day and a half. So now we're making the cut lines or relief lines so that if it does want to crack, it wants to crack in the line rather than throughout the entirety of the concrete. We made our chalk lines as you can see here. And Dad's uh, taking the second cut. I made the first cut. And then we'll have to make the cross sectional cut this way and then we'll have to figure out what the game plan is for the rest of the driveway over here. So got the garage pad all cut, roughly 10 by 10 squares. Now we gotta figure out what 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 design we're gonna do here, because that's really the troublesome area. Going up and along there is no problem, and up there, it's once we get into that middle section there that we're gonna be uh, trying to figure out how the lines are gonna blend. All right guys, so that pretty much wraps it up for the whole driveway project. Uh, we're gonna pop outside, take a quick peek at it, show you how it is. We, um, we pretty much didn't drive on the driveway for at least over a month. Now we got the, the van, we got the trailer, we got all the daily drivers on the driveway now. Um, but in terms of everything, everything's been great. The driveway took a little bit of a hit in terms of salt damage and some other stuff, but nonetheless, Super nice to have, super easy to shovel. Oh my God, before, night night and day difference. Shoveling, oh, I, I, I'd, I'd actually shovel the entire driveway um, in comparison to before. Uh, before we used to have extremely terrible conditions come springtime when uh, the snow would melt and the driveway would essentially thaw. Obviously no problems now. Uh, so we're, I guess, reaping the rewards a little early because uh, we're still working in the garage. Summer's coming up and I can't wait to actually work on the driveway for once. So let me spin you around and uh, we'll take a peek at the driveway. All right, have to do it. Little merch plug. Make sure if you haven't already, check out the merch store. Check out the website. We got hats, we got sweaters, t-shirts, you name it, we probably got it. I'd show you the back, but my arm can't distort, contort that way. All right, back to the driveway.
All right. Look at this. Beautiful. 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 Of course, uh, we already got some rust stains. We already got some uh, oil leaks here and there. But uh, nonetheless, look how nice that is to work on. We've already uh, moved a couple cars in and out of here. So, but uh, super exciting, guys. Super exciting. Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of the Old Car Channel. I will see you next week. See you later, guys.